Dawson's Rentals. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here, and we finally got our Beast Morphers trailer, so we got Buster Ace, the best co-host business, or co-host business, co-host in the business, back at it. So let's go ahead and break this down. I will provide a link, hopefully I remember, but I will eventually provide a link in the description so you can check that out for yourself. Um, but, yeah, so we start, we got like a bunch of shots of villains attacking. Um, they do like really quick rapid fire shots of a bunch of the villains and the Megazords. You know, they're called Megazords and Go Busters. Um, and there is like a shot of Escapes, uh, the primary female villain who is going to be Roxy. Um, like probably her, you know, monster form, robot form. There's like a really quick shot of it that I didn't catch initially, so you get a little bit of that. We get a shot of Evox, the, you know, cobra creature with, um, who's gonna be a bl bl Blaze and Roxy, um, the two human villains, and they're wearing like these weird, like this weird garb. Like, I don't know whether they're already evil, or it look, almost looks like they're stumbling upon this and they're gonna get turned evil or something, but, you know, they're just there. Um, we get some civilian um, fight footage, you know, just that just as it sounds, which looks fine. Um, there's a little bit of fighting with the Blaze suit, aka Dark Buster, which is neat. I also didn't catch that, because there's a lot of little things that happen very quickly that you might not catch necessarily. I even have my little sheet here so I don't forget anything. Uh, we got our explosion shot. We just have a shot of them in suit and they're all kind of just doing poses. And I, I like how Blue's kind of doing a gorilla pose. And then Red's looking to do the traditional like Buster's ready go pose and Yellow's doing what I guess she thinks a rabbit pose is like. Um, and then we get a look at this little like wrist communicator thing that they wear that will turn into the morpher. So like we are obviously know the morpher is the same one from Go Busters, but we get a look at that. Um, we get a look at the keys, which obviously we've seen in the toy form, but they're much larger, um, and they actually are just like the base of it, and then the little like key part flips out, kind of reminiscent of the turbo keys, which is super cool. Um, uh, it's kind of unfortunate that it seems that the toy ones are a little bit smaller, but who knows, maybe we'll get a large scale one. But still, I like how those work. We get to see how the morph works, you know, stabbing the keys in and stuff like that. They're not using the sunglass up thing, which we kind of assumed from everything we'd already known. Uh, but then the morph is super loud, like it's got tornadoes surrounding them, or just one tornado each, but tornadoes surrounding each of them, and then like the animal spirit coming out of them, which it looks cool. Like they're definitely leaning, obviously from the premise too, but leaning more towards the, the animal stuff than, um, you know, Go Busters did. Um, let's see what's up. Oh, we get a look at the, you know, the gun weapon, which we saw at, uh, you know, in the pre Hasbro stuff, or pre Hasbro, pre Toy Fair stuff, excuse me, in the Toy Fair stuff. We get a look at that, and we get a look at a special, like, cockpit helmet. I'm calling it the Squidward power up for now. Um, but basically, he is using this blaster in the, the Megazord. So we have seen that we'll probably see stuff like the sword outside in fighting, and who knows, we could see this sword in, um, you know, or this sword, this gun in like civilian fights and stuff, but for right now we're just seeing it in the cockpit and he's firing it for the cockpit for presumably a finisher. And when he does that, this visor comes down over him, it's like a, like a little nose, and there's like a side shot of it too, and it very much so reminds me of Squidward. That's definitely going to mean another figure. Um, just some shots of the Megazord, which you already know what it looks like if you've seen any of the toys or the pictures or Go Busters footage. Um, and we get a little bit of look at the cockpit, like in a, a three shot, and they're still using the Buddy Roys for the controls. And then, you know, just like some ending shots and the uh, the logo. So, pretty standard stuff. This was definitely much more of a teaser trailer. I think we'll probably just get a few little things like this, like maybe some little spots with a few more little bits here and there. But I mean, I could be wrong, but within the next week, I don't see us getting like a full on trailer trailer. Like RPM got or like movies get, if you know what I mean. Like this was kind of a trailer, but it was just kind of the classic, you know, Rangers rise to fight, insert threat here. But it looks good. I mean, it's hard to tell from anything. I mean, the show could end up being like Dino Charge or Ninja Steel or any of them, or it could end up being better. Um, who knows? But I like what I'm seeing. I think the the actors look good. I think the footage look good. I really like seeing all the original creations in it, which is super exciting. Um, I think that there's a clear effort in putting original stuff in here, which we've seen from the toys, but it's cool to now see it in the footage. And honestly, like, I'm just riding a high from Toy Fair, and, like, I'm just excited for this new era, and excited to finally get footage. So I think it looks good so far. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated once we get any more potential teasers that are worth it, or maybe even a, a different trailer. But for now, this is super exciting. I'll have this going up in the morning. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to the steps, entering that bell for Power Rangers news and toy reviews. There we go. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.